I'm Brandon Keith Avery, and this is just my opinion. So Jennifer Lawrence is back with the Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Um, <laughs> you know, this doesn't even work. I just had to do it. I'm actually using uh, this microphone right here. So Francis Lawrence is back as the director for the final installment in the Hunger Games franchise. He didn't do the first one, but he did the second one, Mockingjay Part 1 and Mockingjay Part 2. Now, I don't know what your favorite out of the first three were. thought the first one was great. The second one was even better. They just gave us more of the same and cranked it to 50. And then the third one, Mark and Jay Part 1, it wasn't bad, but it just wasn't as good as the other ones. It was just one book that they split into two to get more money because that's what studio in Hollywood likes to do, Lionsgate and everyone else to survive. But I can't get mad at you for wanting to make money, but not if it hurts the franchise, if it hurts the storytelling. And that's what I thought would happen with Mark and Jay Part 1. It was nothing but set up for the grand finale showdown that was supposed to happen, but no. So I was going to this thinking, man, it's about to go down. We got all that set up in Mark and Jay part one. It's just going to be nothing but action and carnage and people killing each other and bullets and missiles and arrows flying around. We're going to storm the castle and take down the capital and kill snow. But did we get that? <sighs> man, um, this is probably one of the most disappointing endings of a franchise that I've ever seen. I wouldn't say the worst, but I just didn't care that much for this movie because it was more like Mike and Jay part one. There was just no action at all. It was just a nothing but set up and boring dialogue. And I wanted more than that. Now, as the movie started off, it picked up right where Mike and Jay part one left off and I can understand you have to set things back up maybe for the you know the next three four five ten minutes so you know I wasn't too much tripping on that right there but then they started to tease us with the action and showing it in the background but not really putting it on the forefront but that was okay we're still in the beginning of the movie and I'm not complaining too much but then the movie just goes on and on and on and on and gone and nothing is happening. Nothing is happening at all. And I'm like, man, you know, when is it going to happen? When are we going to get some action? When are we going to get the payoff for waiting like four years for the ultimate showdown? Now, as far as the characters are concerned, of course, everybody did a great job. That's a given. I, I wasn't expecting anything less. Jennifer Lawrence, she's still fantastic in the role as Katniss Everdeen. Peter Malark is back. You know, he he's... You know, I, I didn't I didn't like him. I like him less and less and less each movie. And this right here, he didn't do much more. Finally, like an hour into the movie, we finally did get some good action. And it was really good action. I mean, they were throwing down and beating ass and shooting bullets and punching and breaking necks and stabbing people and shooting arrows and flaming arrows and all types of stuff. But the setup where we got there is it was in a place where you barely could see it. Now, they did come into the light, but it was so brief. And we just got a sprinkle of action. And every time we just got a little sprinkle of action, like for every like two minutes and 30 seconds of action, we got 10 minutes of them taking a nap, sleeping, trying to sneak around. I mean, they just didn't tell the story that we wanted to see. They didn't put the camera where it needed to be. While one group of people over here with the main characters are doing their mission that's boring as hell, all the action in the army and the, uh, the rebellion and all that, they're over here, but we don't get to see that. We get to see the boring people over here reminisce, talking about stuff that we don't care about and taking naps and taking refuge and hiding and stuff. But no, I want to see somebody storm the castle. I want to see some buildings blow up. I want to see some heads pop off. I want to see some crazy stuff. I mean, come on now. You took it away from us in the third movie by giving us set up and splitting the books in two, but you didn't give it to us in the fourth. And that is just ridiculous. And then when we got to see the action, it wasn't anything. I mean, the camera just stuck there on Jennifer Lawrence's face, Katniss Everdeen, while everything is going around behind her. I mean, I'm like, oh my God, does she have like an invisible, impenetrable force field around her? She should have died like 17 times, though, but nope. She just kept waking up in the hospital with an IV in her arm while everything else is going on. I mean, I, I just don't understand why they did this. I actually want to go back and read the book so I can compare to the film adaptation because this was not even remotely close 
to the movie that I wanted to see. They tried to have a good ending, but you really couldn't because they gave us 27 different endings. I mean, I'm like, okay, the movie's about to end, but we got five more minutes of movie, and I, I hate when they do that. You know, I'm just an average moviegoer fan when it comes to this franchise, and I'm very disappointed with what I got with the end product. And if I were to rate these all four films in order from worst to first, I would probably say that this one was the worst and part three is next and then part one and then part two. So part two was the best one for me and Mike and Jay part two was the worst one. But guys, that's just my opinion. What do you think? How do you rank the Hunger Games films from worst to best, from worst to first? Let me know what you think. If I had to rate Mike and Jay part two out of a one out of 10, I would give it a five out of 10. So guys, that's just my opinion on the Hunger Games Mockingjay part two. What did you think? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? It's all good because all films are subjective. Just because I like or dislike something doesn't mean that you have to dislike or like something. It's all good. So let me know in the comment section below. Let's get the conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me that thumbs up because it will really help me out a lot. And if you didn't like the video, hey, that's cool. Let me know in the comment section why. And still, give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide in the past and in the future. Also, if you would like a written review for this, you can head over to the site. That's www.justmyopinion.net. And if you're on Facebook, you can find the official Facebook page at facebook.com slash justmyopinion. And if you're into social media, which I'm sure you are, you can find me at Instagram and Twitter at justmyopinion84. So guys, thank you for tuning in for my opinion on The Hunger Games Mikey J part two, go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Give me that thumbs up. Facebook, the website, Instagram, and Twitter, share the video with the world. I don't mind. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.